folks here at OS Reviews, you're watching our video review of the iCaris self-healing screen protector for the iPhone 4 or 4S. This product can also be found for the iPhone 5, iPhone 6, and other models like the Samsung Galaxy S5, and also um, other popular devices out there. Again, this is from iCaris, which is a pretty quality uh, manufacturer of pretty good and high-end screen protectors. They also produce lenses for regular glasses, so they definitely know how to create uh, quality lenses, glasses, films, anything like that. Um, and in this part your product actually has parts imported from Japan, so it's pretty impressive. Now, I actually haven't seen before a self-healing screen protector. Uh, essentially, what the product claims is if you scratch it up, uh, at least very light scratches, it's not going to survive, obviously, a nail or a knife beating down on it, but light scratches, like in the pocket, it should actually heal itself up so that the surface still seems to be perfect. This concept actually really rem rem uh, makes me reminisce actually reminds me of the LG G Flexus back, which uh, LG said was also a self-healing back. But of course, this is actually on a screen, so that in theory, it's actually cooler and far more interesting. Uh, but the product itself actually is pretty inexpensive as well. You can pick up one of these packs for about uh, $25 and actually contains multiple uh, units inside. So in case you mess up on one application, you have more to uh, use and also to use over time. Packaging-wise, it's pretty nice. It has this nice shiny uh, material. It says it includes a cleaning cloth and also the the card you would use to push out any air bubbles again whenever you're applying any screen protectors it's recommended to be in a humid environment so that you have the dust distilled before you actually apply it the back includes a qr code so you can scan to learn more information about the product and essentially that's it as far as the packaging we're going to rip this open and see what's located in here you can purchase this product on Amazon.com and it should arrive in about uh, three to four days, so pretty fast shipping dates as well. It says thanks for choosing iCaras and over here we have access to the screen protectors. Again, very, very cool packaging. Um, even on the inside, we have access to the logo, iCare is uh, repeated, so a pretty quality uh, design from the manufacturer. And here is the card you would use to squeeze out any air bubbles. It's very, very clever in design because it actually is used partially in stores to hook up the entire uh, casing onto a shelf, but you can also use it again to squeeze out air bubbles. Over here we have access to some more documentation, I suppose, and the actual screen protectors. We'll have to take a look at that in a moment. And essentially that's it. So over here we have access, first of all, to what looks like a thank you note, but also some pretty interesting stuff going on. There are what looks like two little pieces of film on here, which I'm not sure what they are. Uh, perhaps I'll see it later on in the review. And over here we have a thank you note that's very elaborately printed. It's an instruction manual and a thank you note from the CEO of the company, but it's almost shiny in color. It has these metallic finishes, which is pretty impressive. Valentine's Day, uh, Day themed. And inside we have a microfiber cleaning cloth for your screen before you apply it. And finally, there is this film position system so you can actually apply your film perfectly onto your iPhone the first time. It's an alignment system. I actually have never seen this amount of detail on a screen protector ever. So this is going to be interesting on the application process. And there are some dust remover stickers so you use it to remove any dust and some replacement stickers so you basically put it on your screen and pull it off to remove any dust. Uh, essentially it's a piece of tape um, but it's pretty cool that a company includes that in the packaging and again that's essentially it. It tells you how to work it, how to install it, how to use it perfectly and so on and so forth printed in vibrant full color. And again I'm not sure what this is. We're going to learn more about that in a moment perhaps after we apply it. Over here we have also have access to a Another thank you note. There is some more information on here. There's another dust remover sticker. So you have a second one, which is interesting. You also have a second microfiber cleaning cloth now shaped in a square shape. It's interesting that you have two of those and you have the screen protector on here shown again. So you have it repeated almost two times. Uh, kind of interesting. And finally, we have access to the screen protector itself. So it looks like on this particular package, we only have uh, one that's included. Oh, well, actually there's two. So in this package, there's actually two screen protectors included. So if you use one and you get it scratched up, you have another one to use. Um, so there it is. Again, it matches the iPhone perfectly with the grills cut out for the camera, the speaker grills, and the home keys. We simply remove on one side and on the other one, we're ready to apply it onto our device. It seems to be pretty flexible, pretty mal malleable. It has this kind of semi-transparent look to it, so it should eliminate glare in the sunlight. We'll have to see how it uh, how it works and how it actually uh, 
how it holds up against scratches um, as we new test. So now we're taking a look at the application process of the iCare's iPhone 4 slash 4S self-healing screen protector, which allows you to actually heal up the scratches you might accumulate on your device over time. We're going to apply it. We do have a current screen protector on our phone, but as you can see here, it's pretty heavily scratched up. So we're just going to remove this current screen protector and toss it in the bin. But uh, the device itself uh, also allows us to protect it from any dust or anything that might be accumulated. So uh, we can remove it and still the screen should be fairly clean, which is we definitely good. to peel off the old screen protector from the edge over here. There we go. The old screen protector actually isn't as bad as I thought. It actually is actually quite thick, uh, despite not having kept the best um, in terms of the actual anti-scratch factor, so to speak. But it still is relatively, it's relatively good in terms of the how much it's protected the actual device itself. So now I'm gonna take a look at next, which we are going to actually clean um, the screen of the device itself. And that will be done first with these screen cleaning stickers and the are dust remover stickers. So we peel these off. They're basically just pieces of tape. And if there's any dust on our device, we can just simply put it on there, uh, peel it up. And so that's going to remove any dust, if there is any, along the mainframe of the device. So it's going to make the application process hopefully easier. And next, we'll actually use the cleaning cloth to actually clean the surface. Um, and of course, the best way to use this would actually be in a hot, humid environment. So perhaps turning up the bathroom and actually making the um, vapor go up. So it actually condenses the dust in the air. But we will skip that right now and just take a look at that. So these stickers are pretty easy to use. We simply peel up to remove the first top layer. And we will next use the device that we, the actual card that the device came with, and apply it correctly to the dimensions of the phone. So that looks to be pretty good as far as the fit is considered. We can let it go down and touch, and so far not too much screen protector is appearing. And we would simply slide the card upwards, perhaps with a bit of force, a bit slowly, and slowly peel this part back. And there we go. Uh, basically, we have eliminated all of the, you know, any dust on here. So very good in terms of uh, protecting it from any dust. And finally, we would remove the top cover from the actual device itself and we have our screen protector ready and applied. So taking a look at the actual device now after the screen protector has been applied, it is a very sleek surface. So it's actually very glidey. It's very uh, easy to slide your fingers around. It's not anti it's not anti smudge or anything like, like that. So you can see you can already accumulate a bit, a bit of uh, smudges on the screen from your fingerprints, which is unfortunate. But it seems to have the device uh, still be pretty usable as far as uh, being able to see the screen and the actual touch sensitivity should be pretty strong considering it feels pretty good. And to test whether or not this thing is actually, you know, scratch resistant or not, we're going to just take a standard USB little device here to represent a keychain and we're just going to kind of scratch it on the surface of the device and see if that actually does anything. So afterwards, we're going to take this cloth, wipe it clean, apply a bit of heat, just like on LG's G Flex. If we apply a bit of heat, we're going to see if these scratches will go away. And it seems like, indeed, there are no scratches. Like these scratches have disappeared from the surface. There were a few, and now it's completely gone. There might be, no, there aren't any scratches here at all. So it's actually very good as far as protecting your device. And the, anti-scratch resistancy and the ability for it to self-heal is actually pretty impressive. So pretty good as far as being able to heal your device. Again, you can try scratching it up to represent your keychain. So you can see how maybe there might be a few scratches on here. Um, you can kind of faintly see that, but after you apply a bit of heat uh, from the frictional force of rubbing it, rubbing it around, 
you'll see that it actually disappears. So it does a pretty good job of protecting your device. So actually very, very cool. If you want to keep your screen protector clear of any scratches, this is definitely a great way to go. A pretty good value in terms of having to pay $30 for two screen protectors that will keep your device scratch-free, which is pretty impressive. So overall, we definitely are pleased. You can check out our full written review down in the description box below. This has been our first look slash video for uh, application of the anti-scratch self-healing screen protector for the iPhone 4S by iCares.